oil week offers private sectors and players in the African upstream? Well, uh, we are very uh, thankful to have uh, Hive organizing this uh, uh, kind of organ uh, event. Uh, Africa Week is a very particular event uh, in the oil and gas sector, uh, gas being uh, so different uh, profile uh, of shareholders in the, uh, in the sector, both government, uh, the private sector, but also the other financial uh, operational uh, entities. So really, uh, it's a uh, huge uh, added value that uh, Hive is uh, doing in this uh, kind of activity. Um, what role can Africa play in regional and international energy supply? Africa can play a great role uh, at the uh, international level, both for, uh, in terms of uh, uh, supplying natural resources but also in terms of creating value. Uh, right now, in several countries, uh, the industries and uh, the uh, private sector are quite mature. And it's not the same in Africa. Africa needs a lot of infrastructure, needs a lot of industries, and uh, a lot of investment to, to create value, to monetize, actually, those resources from the, the, uh, the not, uh, natural way of uh, doing business, uh, exporting it right, right now, by creating it with added value in, the, in Africa, creating uh, new jobs, creating a new uh, value chain, and creating a really uh, a, 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 a quite unique uh, economical environment uh, that can help Africa uh, developing itself. So uh, really, it's a huge uh, opportunity uh, that we are talking about. What's your corporate vision and strategy towards the energy transition? We in Senegal uh, have a very clear view of what the energy transition means. For us, the priority, our priority is the universal access. Our priority is economical development of our country, of our continent. Our priority is to uh, supply jobs uh, to, to those millions of youngs that are living in our country, in our continent. So uh, really don't miss uh, those priorities when we are dealing and we are talking about energy transition and, and any of them. This said, Senegal, Africa are really committed to uh, all the uh, initiatives around the climate change. This is not, uh, they are not opposite. But at one point, we need also to see uh, what are the main action in order to achieve those climate change uh, initiatives in order to decrease the greenhouse uh, gas emission uh, gas uh, the emission of greenhouse uh, emission and uh, how we do it it is first to focus on those countries the developed ones that uh, emit uh, the most share of uh, those uh, uh, gas and uh, leaving uh, how say, freedom and flexibility to those areas like Africa where we are not uh, uh, emitting so much uh, greenhouse uh, gas but also where we need investment and in, we need to develop our activities. So th those are the, the priorities. So really universal access and uh, climate change but focusing on the priorities that are the developed countries need to decrease uh, the emission and uh, to leave us enough flexibility on our side. Okay, thank you. And what do you believe the future outlook for the global oil and gas upstream? It might be bright, it might be bright, really, uh, <laughs> but we all need to be uh, to tackle it in a very fair manner. Uh, this means uh, those resources, those countries that need to develop uh, such a kind of uh, industry have the right and the freedom to do it using the best in class technologies, the cleaner, cleaner one, uh, but they, uh, they should have the, such a right and such a uh, support to, to do it. So the future is bright. Okay, thank you. And one last question. What are you most looking forward to at Africa Ah, we are looking uh, to uh, connect, to network uh, with the different uh, shareholders, but also to exchange uh, ideas and uh, to identify the actions that we need to tackle, we need to take all together in order to solve our priorities.